Hello, and today I'm going to be talking about Simple Pi, a PHP library that you use to pull in RSS feeds, and specifically how to integrate that with WordPress. Now, there's there's several screencasts on the Simple Pi website actually, and I found about this from uh, um by Chris from CSS Tricks. As you guys know, I am a big fan of this website and he did a screencast all about how to um add an RSS content with Simple Pi. Um this is actually on the Simple Pi website, simplepie.org along along with some other screencasts. So I'm not really gonna go over what Simple Pi is. Um but basically, I just want to use it to pull in content from his feed and show it in my sidebar. So that's what I'm going to try and do today. Now, this is the first time I've done it and I've never done it and it's never worked before. Um, but but I just wanted to kind of give it another go and do it, and do it live with you guys so kind of learn. I've, um, what we're going to basically do is use a WordPress plugin that's provided by Simple Pi, and if you don't understand what I'm saying now, you'll kind of get it throughout the tutorial. So I've just I've just pulled up the documentation, and let's go. The first thing we're gonna do is, um, and I probably should have pulled this up before, but we're gonna log in to the back end of my blog. And um, obviously, this one's WordPress. Tom Rogers dot com. If you haven't been there, and um, I'm just gonna log in real quick. And what what's key about this is it uses the um, WordPress 2.7.1 engine which um, allows you to install plugins right from the interface so if we go to plugins and then just hit the plugins it will let us um, install plugins and browse the plugins right from within the interface this is something new to WordPress so I can just search for simple pi and there's two things you actually need to install simple pi for WordPress and simple pi core so I'm just going to install both And it says this um, plugin has not been tested with your version, but we're just going to install it and see how things go. Um, so all we have to do is hit install. This makes it really easy to install plugins. Um, so that one's installed. Um, but we also need simple pi core and that searching right from within the back end lets you browse the entire plugin directory so again we're just going to search simple pi and I like doing this because I'm doing it live so you can, you can kind of see how I work um, and kind of get a feel for it. So I'm just going to install that again. That hasn't been tested, but hopefully it will work. And I'm, I'm just going to activate that plugin. What I'm going to do now is because they haven't been updated for a long time. I'm actually going to visit my blog and make sure nothing's broken on my blog. That loaded fine, so 
and the plugins haven't damaged my blog, but they they still may not work. Um, and now we have to find the bit where they're. So first off, we might have to configure the simple by core. No, it's only the core, so we don't. Um. We need the first thing we need to do is it's it says everything's working, but we need to set up caching so it doesn't pull um it doesn't pull uh thing wrong. S so this is where it wants us to um Uh, I'm not sure where it wants us to. It wants us to set it up in the WP content folder and cache, and it needs to be writable. Um, so I'm just gonna, I've got Coder open here, the handy tool, and I'm just going to create a folder. Called cash, and I'm just gonna leave. I um see what it doesn't say what permissions to set, so I'm just gonna do seven seven five. That's generally a pretty safe one to um do. Naturally, I'll do seven seven seven, so anyone can do anything. As you can tell, I don't know much about permissions, but I might as well just leave it like that. Um, and I'm gonna refresh the page, and it worked. So that's good. We've got all green lights here now. Um, so we're just gonna set up a few things. Um, so, um, we're just going to set up it as a side blog because I don't want to show, it's not, I don't want this to be in with my main blog post. Um, I'm only going to show five items at the time and, um, I'm going to leave everything else the way it is caching configured the directories are set and um, I want to set it for a day because he only updates every few days so I might as well only have it refresh once a day um because he only updates every few days um and these are a lot of put personal preference um and I haven't yet been given a chance to specify what feed I want to pull in which is kind of worrying um I'm going to update, again I'm going to go to my blog just, just to make sure, everything's kosher over there, yes it is, so now I can only assume that I'm going to go back into my website, Uh, go to the sidebar file of my theme and put it in I'll put it way at the bottom here because it's not my content but I'm not 
I'm not stealing content because I'm going to use simple pipe to make sure that it's properly attributed. So I'm just going to set a div with an ID of CSS tricks. Feed. I'm going to close that div. And I don't need to comment it because the div is going to be on the same line because I'm not going to do anything. And I'm just going to echo up this simple pie. And normally with simple pie, because I'm quite good at doing it for static sites, you put the, the feed or the website address in as a value. And, but this is specific to WordPress. And it doesn't seem to let me set it anywhere in the actual thing. So I'm just going to assume that you put it in here. So I'm going to say. CSS. Click. dot com and it should detect the main feed and I'm gonna close off that value. Um save that reload scroll way down yeah it it, it put it put what I wanted in there but it has this um I was right about setting the feed as that value. Um but it has all this weird styling, some of which I can reset with CSS. But for example I, I only want to show the titles and I don't wanna have this side blog title. Um because it's not it's not my blog, so it's not fair to attribute it as, as a side blog. Um, so to fix some of that, presumably we'll just go back into our settings here, and I'm just gonna set it as. Uh, the default layout template and then see what that does go back to here and refresh then it just um, makes an order list of all the things here obviously I need to make it so it only shows the titles and probably attributes the source. But I'll I'll sort all that out. So thank you for watching this video and this was just a quick little primer on how to use simple pine WordPress. Thank you for watching and I ho hope you subscribe to my videos if you liked. Thank you.